let me do you guys a huge favor by telling you right now that the fine woven case is not part of this recommendation list. That thing is absolutely godforsaken. It's a disaster of a case and any decent review or case recommendation list should not have it. With that said though, the iPhone 15 Pro is a stunning phone and it's also very easy to break, which means putting a case on it is always a good idea. Fortunately, there are plenty of awesome third-party cases out there and I'm gonna recommend you the top five cases that I have personally used and ones I think that are worth giving a shot. So let's get into it. Why would you possibly buy the Apple Silicon case when you can get this far cheaper case from our friends at Lego that has the same build quality as the original Silicon case, arguably even better. The first thing you'll notice is that the gray tone here perfectly complements the natural titanium finish of the 15 Pro. You also have built-in MagSafe, which is always nice. And then you'll notice when you put in the phone, you have a nice tight and snug fit over here so your phone's not going to go anywhere. You also have nice raised lips to provide you with good clearance and protection should you have your case facing down. Additionally, you'll notice there's machine trimmed finish buttons here, which look and feel very premium. You have a decent degree of tactility, though there is a little bit of mushiness here when you're pressing the buttons. You also have a nice clean cut for the USB-C port at the bottom, alongside of course the speaker and microphone holes as well. Now, when you flip the phone, again, that nice creamy feel that you want with a high quality silicon case. And then you'll notice you have nice raised lips around the camera lenses so you have sufficient clearance here again you can keep it face down and your lenses will not scratch overall this is a really nice case and again you have no reason to buy the apple silicon case when you can literally get this one here for a fraction of the price with the same degree of quality if you're in the market for a case that adds a nominal amount of bulk to your 15 pro or pro max well, speaking of liquid air is amazing. These guys have been making cases longer than some of you have been alive at this point, so their reputation is definitely trustworthy. With that said, the liquid air right here has a more rubberized feel. It's far more textured, deliberately providing maximum grip. You do not get back safe, unfortunately, so if that's important, you can skip this one. Now, you'll notice that the phone just fits in snugly. While the fitting isn't as tight as the previous case, it's sufficient, your phone won't magically fall out. You also have nice raised lips around the screen providing great protection. Now you will notice that the buttons here are rubberized, so obviously it's not as premium feeling, but that makes sense given it's the cheapest case you can actually get from the ones that I'm reviewing today. And you'll also notice that they are a little bit more mushy, but they provide a good degree of protection as a result of that. And then at the bottom, you have a nice large cutout for the USB-C port, so you can use all kinds of cables. You have an open slot cutout for the speaker phone and the microphone speaker phone. Anyway, on the back side, you will notice that you have a nice texturized, grippy rubber feel again with these triangular designs. And then you'll also notice that you have raised lips, but they aren't as raised as some of the other cases. They're only marginally taller than the actual camera lens. So while you have good protection on a flat surface, on a more bumpy surface, it's a little bit more risky, but again, you are compromising protection to get a nice sleek and slim profile case. And I think it offers a fair balance between both options. I can definitely recommend it if you're all about slim cases. Next up, we have arguably the most premium case that you will find on this list, and that is none other than Mujo's vegan leather case. This thing is of exceptional craftsmanship. I mean, seriously, the minute you take it out, that dark tan color looks so nice. It is made of vegan leather, like I mentioned, so it's sustainable. It also has built-in MagSafe support, and the case is thin but sturdy. The minute you put your iPhone into it, you get an immediate sense that this case will hug it tightly, and your phone is not an danger of slipping out. You'll also notice that the lips are made in such a way that they are raised to obviously provide protection for the screen, but they're not intrusive against the bezels, rather they complement the thin bezels of the iPhone 15 Pro, which gives your screen this really nice look. Now, my favorite part are those machine metal buttons. They are of the finest quality. Firstly, you'll notice they're gold coated, not actual gold coated, I mean the color coating of them to complement the leather case itself. And this looks so darn premium, but they're also one of the most tactile buttons you'll find on a phone case. 
Pressing the action button is just addictive. Honestly, really well done. Now at the bottom, you have a clean cutout for the USB-C port, and you also have a open slot cutout for the speakers and the microphone. Now when you go to the backside, you'll notice again, the leather is nice and stretched out. It should age beautifully. It's clean, no unnecessary textures. But my favorite part is that around the camera bump, you have lips, but they are machine metal cut as well. And they are again, color match with the rest of the case, giving it this really nice goldish color that just looks so darn majestic and premium. This is such a nice looking case. Every dollar they charge for this case is worth in my opinion. It is of exceptional quality. But again, this is a case you have to, you know, really look if you're in the premium market or if you like leather cases, definitely something to consider though. Magback is one of those companies that always seem to refine their product year after year. You can tell they put a lot of effort into making the best possible phone cases. And of course, like every other year, this is their best iteration yet. So the magnetic case for the 15 Pro here has one of the best color coatings I've seen. It's very closely matched with natural titanium gray color of the 15 Pro that I have. And I also like that it's a sturdy case. It's one of the more bulkier ones, but a lot of protection over here. You do have MagSafe support as well as their proprietary magnetic system. I'll talk more about that in a quick minute. Now, once you put the actual phone into the case, it has a very secure and tight grip on it. It's going to keep it in place. And I also like how you have nice raised lips over here for maximum protection. But you'll also notice as an additional measure, they actually have these bumpers on all four corners. This means that your phone also has drop protection. And I'd say out of all the cases I reviewed, this one has the highest degree of protection on the edges. And it's worth noting this does add a little bit more bulk to your case. It gives a more rectangular look. But again, protection does come at the cost of the size. Now you will notice the buttons on the side have a plastic finish. Unfortunately, the good news is that they've been color coded to match with the rest of the case, which gives it a very nice look. The tactility isn't as good as we saw on some of the other cases, but it's not super mushy either, which makes a good enough pressing experience for the buttons. Now at the bottom, you have a clean cutout for the USB-C port, but to provide additional protection, I like how they have individual piercings for the speaker and microphones, which again shows that this case is all about maximum protection while looking quite nice. On the backside again, that creamy feel because of that silicone like finish gives it a very nice grip when you hold this phone and also just feels nice to hold in general. Now you do have nice raised lips protecting the camera bump. They're not super high. They're not super low. I think they're actually the perfect size and provide sufficient degree of protection. And like I mentioned earlier, you do have a proprietary magnetic system here as well. And magpac has been making this well before MagSafe was ever a thing. And they have all these cool accessories on their website that you can check out and that are directly compatible with their magnetic system. Next up, we have arguably one of the best kickstand cases you can get for your 15 Pro right now, and that is Case Coos Magic Stand. It comes in an awesome box. Anyway, once you open it up, you'll notice you have a transparent back, you have a built-in kickstand and MagSafe support, by the way. And then interestingly enough, again, you have colored bumpers, which is a very unique take on a phone case. Now, putting in the phone is a bit of a struggle and taking it out is even a bigger struggle. But once it's in there, it is extremely extremely secured. The world can end, but your phone will stay in this case. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is they have nice raised lips, but provide a lot of protection for your screen. So you can keep it on even and uneven surfaces. And for the most part, it's going to be just fine. You have a rounded design over here, which also means you have extra padding and a lot of protection in case you accidentally drop this phone. Now, the downside is that you have plastic finishing buttons over here, which don't feel as premium as metal ones. However, they are closely color coded to match the the bumper color, which is a nice attention to detail. Now the tactility isn't that great either. It's a little bit more mushy feeling, but it's not terrible. It's just not the best part about this case. At the bottom, again, you'll notice you have a good cutout for the USB-C port and you have open slot cutouts for the microphone as well as the speakers. And then on the backside, like any other transparent case, you can obviously see the MagSafe ring, which by the way, is like I mentioned, a full out kickstand which I'll talk about in just a quick second. And then you'll notice you have reasonably raised lips that provide a decent degree of protection for the camera bump. They're not super tall again, and they're not super short. I think they're actually the perfect height, kind of like some of the other cases that we saw today. And then finally, like the kickstand I mentioned, so it just pops right open. You can keep it in a vertical or horizontal position. This is really good if you tend to watch videos on your phone and you don't want to keep it in your hand. It's just, it's I've used it a lot of times and it's definitely great.
So hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea of the cases I would personally recommend. Like I said, I've used all of these. These aren't like, we'll pay you money, just make a good video kind of cases. That's not the case at all. I've used them. Hopefully I've covered their strengths and weaknesses. And in case you're wondering what case I'm using right now as my daily driver, it is the Mujo leather case. I am in love with this thing. It's probably my favorite case right now. Though again, all the other cases I mentioned are absolutely awesome. And I have used them one point or another, and I probably will in the future again. Let me know which case you like the most. I will leave links to all of them in the video description below. As always, if you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. You guys are the reason I do all this. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Catch you in the next one.